Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Visual Basic .NET tutorials. Uh, today's tutorial is about using data validation when entering data into the database. Okay. So uh, first of all, data validation is the process of checking your data or user input uh, and making sure that the, the this user input is correct and valid before actually inserting this data in, into the database uh, in order to test that you need a simple table in this example we have the people table it contains pe person name address telephone age notes and postal code okay this one is string this one's string this one's string this one's number this one uh, is string this one's number as well okay so after you have this table uh, you need a project okay so we have this project we are gonna add a data source here it's a database next you already know the process so I'm gonna do it quickly okay test okay okay next I'm gonna include the database with my project press next I want the people table and finish so right now, uh, if you look here, you can see the data set. Now, in order to test things here, whatever we're going to do is uh, just open this one and select details. We're going to experiment with the details here. So just to drag this one and drop it on the form. Now everything is created now the first problem we have is that when we let's run this and show show you the problems first now if we try to enter a new record and let's say for example uh, we want to put an address we put it like this and for the postal code you put one number the age you put minus nine okay uh, obviously such kind of data entry is not valid uh, there is no address of value 5 there is no telephone that's one digit and there is no age in the negative and there is no postal code that is one digit so if I want to uh, you can see also that P name does not allow no value so we, we got lots of error in order to solve this we are gonna start validating our data to do validation, uh, you have to do uh, two things, uh, checking the information if it is correct or not, and second thing, display an error message that tell, telling the user what the problem is with his data. So uh, let's get into the first thing, checking the data. So double click on the text box here of Pini. We are going to put a rule like follows, we want the name not being null and second we want the name not to exceed 10 characters okay the reason for 10 characters is that because we want to it's up to you you can make the, the name 20 30 character and so on so let's get to this one uh, when you when you uh, display the text box event make sure you select text box here and then search for the event called validating validating is, is triggered in order to uh, is triggered by the control so that it can give you a chance to check the data here we will check the data here the uh, name is not null and also the name is no more than 10 chars now so if uh, name text box dot text is nothing okay then now the way we know that there is an error uh, uh, if this uh, if the name the text of the name is nothing this means it's a DB null in this case so we are going to trigger an error here uh, or actually cancel cancel the operation so you can use e dot cancel equal tr uh, true okay also if p name text box dot text dot length equal 10 uh, sorry 
is greater than 10 then a dot cancel equal true now let's run this one okay I'm gonna add a new record I'm gonna leave this empty now whenever I want to navigate away from the P name I cannot simply because uh, the, the, the first validator does not allow me to do that I am clicking here into another field but it does not allow me okay 